the GTEx portal provides an API for accessing GTEx data. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the GTEx API to retrieve gene expression data. Before using the GTEx API, you should think about your use case and carefully consider whether the GTEx API is suitable for your application. The GTEx API is not meant for high throughput applications. For example, if you need to perform a computation for all 56,000 genes, you might be better served by downloading the needed data files from the GTEx portal and either computing on those files directly or loading the data from those files into your own local database. Performing 56,000 round trips to our API server would probably not be performant. The GTEx API is called via a URL, which returns data in JSON format. You can query the GTEx web services by submitting your URL via a browser or a scripting language of your choice. Any scripting language can directly parse JSON formatted data. We can think of the URL as having two main portions, the base URL, which identifies the web service, and then the parameters. In the GTEx portal, most of the web services take query parameters, which have two parts, the, the query parameter name and then the query parameter value. The delimiter in front of the first query parameter is a question mark. The delimiter for subsequent query parameters is an ampersand. Let's use the GTEx API to retrieve gene expression data. You can find a link to the API documentation on the GTEx portal. Select Documentation, API for Data Access, and then the link for the GTEx API v2. As you can see, the documentation for the web services are separated into groups. We want to retrieve gene expression data, so we will, ex we will select Expression Data Endpoints, Get Gene Expression. If we look in the upper right corner of the page, we can see the base URL for the endpoint, so we will copy that. And in the center pane, we can see the documentation for the query parameters. For the gene expression web service, we can see that the gen code ID is a required parameter. So let's construct the URL. We'll open up a new tab. We'll paste in the base URL. And all of these URLs will be down uh, in the description. And let's just send the base URL without the required parameter and see what happens. As you can see, we get an error message, which is not surprising. So let's add the query parameter. We start with the question mark delimiter and then gen code ID, which is the query parameter name, an equal sign. And now we will paste in a gen code ID. And as you can see, we received results this time. The resulting data for the web service is returned in JSON format. Any scripting language can directly parse JSON data. As you can see, the result has two attributes, data and paging info. GTEx web services are paginated. So if your query results in large amounts of data, then you'll have to retrieve the results one page at a time, just like a Google search. If we expand the page info, you can see there's just a single page of data for this query. So we've got all the data that we need. If we expand data, you'll see that this has 54 entries. That's one entry per tissue. GTEx has 54 tissue types. We can expand the first result and see that this contains data for the tissue thyroid. And within the tissue thyroid, there's another data attribute which contains the actual expression values. 
Now, you probably don't know the gen code identifier for your gene of interest, but instead, you probably have an HGNC gene symbol. If we go back to the gene expression web service documentation, you can see that it does not accept an HGNC gene symbol. So how can we retrieve the gen code ID for a particular gene symbol? Let's go back over to the groups and select the reference genome endpoints. And then we will select the get genes web service. Once again, we'll look in the upper right hand corner to get the base URL and copy that. And we'll see here in the center pane that this takes a gene ID as a query parameter. So let's construct the URL. We'll paste in the base URL, add the question mark, then a gene ID equals, and let's search for EGFR. And as you can see, there's a single match. So now we have the gen code ID for EGFR. We can then use that gen code ID to query the gene expression web service as we demonstrated previously. Now, what if we want to retrieve expression data for the gene EGFR but only for a particular tissue, say lung. Let's go back to the documentation for the Get Gene Expression web service, and you can see that it takes a query parameter called Tissue Site Detail ID. And if we select the details for this query parameter, we can see the allowed values for Tissue Site Detail ID. So let's construct the URL. We will Again, copy the base URL, open a new tab, add the gen code ID, And now you remember that uh, after the first query parameter, the delimiter changes to an ampersand. So now we will add tissue site detail ID equal long. And as you can see now, we only returned, the web service only returned data for the single tissue.